Pat Welsh, San Diego's gardening expert, has written two gardening books and her memoir, All My Edens. Pat continues to write, including a 2005 children's book, The Magic Mural and How It Got Built. It's based on Pat's tile mural on the wall in front of the Del Mar Library. Besides gardening, Pat also paints and travels with her grandchildren. She still tends to her bountiful garden, which is matched only by her bountiful life. So now, at, at this stage of your life, you're not doing the, the TV shows anymore. You're still writing. I still write. You're still painting. Yes, a lot. Do you ever just want to come out here and, and, and sit and be still? I do it all the time. Part of what has happened to me, yeah, this is true. I no longer just constantly work in the garden. For one thing, I have help. I have master gardeners who are darling who come and help me. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm, I'm kind of the wounded knee gardener here. I'm not as strong as I used to be. My body isn't as strong as it used to be. I sit down here and there to do a lot of it. But lots of times I just sit in my garden and just enjoy it and at lunchtime every day. So yes, it changes as you grow older. It's not just about beautifying. It certainly isn't about having the garden look like a magazine cover every day of the year. You can't do it. It's about living in the garden. It's time for me to not worry so much if an invasive plant takes over, and not worry so much if it isn't all perfect. Perfection is not where it's at. It's all about enjoyment. It's all about enjoyment and, and at this point... Living out there. Yeah. Uh, take your letters out there to write or take a book down there to read or, you know, relax, have meals outdoors. I know, or at least I think I know, what you get out of this because I see the joy and for years I have seen the joy you get out of, <laughs> as you say, you know, being down in the hole and throwing the spades of dirt and throwing things everywhere and cutting things down. But what's... What's the draw for the average person? What's the, what's the sense of renewal for somebody to go out and, and work that hard in their little particular patch of ground? Well, you know, Dennis, that's a wonderful question because my attitude about that is if you don't love it, don't do it. Be a cook. Loads of people love to cook or they love to sew dresses or they like cleaning their houses. But there are some of us, not everybody, there are some of us who absolutely adore to be outdoors. We don't really want to be indoors. And we love working with plants. And working with plants puts us close to nature. And we get an enormous joy out of it. And when you are young, the joy that comes out of it, a lot of it is I'm creating something. It's almost a yearning for something that will be. And you're never quite there. <laughs> but you're always striving for it. I can't tell you what a passion this is for people who are passionate gardeners, but when you grow older, it changes, and I'm in that spot now, and then you can actually get out in your garden and live in it and sit in it and enjoy it. Uh, you create a space for nature to do her thing, and then you let her do it. You know, it's not nature, you control it. You create a work of art 